Hi, my name is Allison Johnson, and I had did my protein on DNA polymerase. But before I get started, I just wanted to talk about basic information. So general information about proteins. They undergo a, they go through a process called central dogma. And what this process does, it begins with DNA being replicated. And then once DNA is copied, then it is transcribed into RNA. And RNA is then translated into amino acids, which creates protein synthesis. Also, about um, proteins, they contain four different levels of structure, and their primary level of structure is their amino acid sequence. Their, um, with this amino acid sequence, the amino acids could be nonpolar, polar, charged, uncharged, so on and so forth. Secondary level of structure represents the alpha helices and the beta sheets. Alpha helices can become coiled coils, and then beta sheets can be either anti-parallel or parallel. Tertiary level of structure is going to be um, pretty much a combination of secondary structures adding all of the alpha helices, all of the beta sheets, any extra loops or turns that the protein may have is going to form some sort of 3D conformation and that's going to be your tertiary, tertiary level of structure. The final level of structure, the quaternary level, is um, pretty much more than one polypeptide chain. So more than so you're gonna have this long chain of amino acid sequence and they're gonna fold upon each other and stuff like that, forming a protein, but then the protein can combine more than one of these polypeptide chains together. Moving on to DNA polymerase. DNA poly polymerase is an enzyme. And what an enzyme does, it speeds up in a reaction by making or breaking bonds. DNA polymerase is found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. And what it does in both of these types of organisms is that it replicates gen genetic material in order to synthesize DNA. Not only does it synthesize DNA, but it, it also can repair the DNA as well. In prokaryotes, it'll take about 20 minutes to replicate the material, versus in eukaryotes, it may take up to 24 hours. But more than one polymerase exists in the eukaryotic organisms. Sometimes there could be up to 15 different polymerases. This modification is relevant because it can move on from one generation to the next generation, just to keep the cell going. Moving on to the the um, levels of structure for DNA polymerase, the primary level of structure, the amino acid sequence, shows that methionine is usually the predominant amino acid. But also in the sequence, you will find amino acids like valine, leucine, and isoleucine. In the figure, in the figure that is showing the a human amino acid sequence of DNA polymerase. The secondary level of structure shows alpha helices and beta sheets. There are usually two very long alpha helices and these alpha helices form coiled coils. And then also you'll see two interlocking anti-parallel beta sheets in each domain. So in each domain you'll see coiled coil, two very long coiled coil alpha helices 
and also two interlocking data, sh data sheets. Sometimes um, the way they're positioned in the enzyme is going to be based upon the active site. So they may face towards a certain way or face outward or another way. The tertiary, tertiary level of structure or the 3D conformation of DNA polymerase flows into a common feature of a right hand shape. This right hand shape describes each domain as fingers, palm, or thumb domains. This conformation is formed through either hydrophobic interaction, interactions and hydrogen bonding or even a combination of both. Final, the final structure of DNA polymerase is the quaternary level, and what you will see here in the figure, you will notice that there are four domains, two red, two, red, two red domains and two green domains. DNA polymerase is composed of more than one polypeptide chain. There are usually four subunits, usually when... DNA polymerase synthesizes DNA, the enzyme itself will form into a dimer. DNA polymerase is a very important enzyme and has high fidelity for its craft, but in rare cases, DNA polymerase does not contain the correct amino, amino acid sequence causing improper functions leading to diseases.